Kate Middleton and Prince William returned to the site of their royal wedding nearly 10 years later. The couple were visiting a COVID-19 vaccination site at London's Westminster Abbey Church, the same place the duo said I do on April 29, 2011. The Duchess of Cambridge rocked a white Catherine Walker coat dress for the occasion, which she paired with brown heels and a color coordinating clutch. The visit to the vaccination site comes during the one year anniversary of the COVID-19 lockdown in the UK. On the national hashtag day of reflection, one year since the lockdown in the UK, the Duke and Duchess took part in a moment of reflection at Westminster Abbey. Today we remember all those who have lost their lives as a result of the pandemic over the last 12 months, Kensington Palace tweeted. The palace also shared that they talked with staff about what it's been like being a part of the vaccination effort and working at Westminster Abbey, as well as meeting with members of the public who are getting vaccinated. Kate has been in the headlines recently for other news. She was brought up during Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's tell-all interview with Oprah, where Meghan claimed that a previous story, which claimed Meghan made Kate cry, wasn't true. It was actually the other way around. Did you make Kate cry? No. So where did that come from? Was there a situation where she might have cried or she could have no, cried? No, no, the reverse no. happened. And I don't say that to be disparaging to anyone because it was a really hard week of the wedding and she was upset about something, but she owned it and she apologized. Access Hollywood chatted with royal expert Kinsey Schofield about Kate and Meghan. Check it out. So you might remember the headline that Kate Middleton made Meghan Markle cry days before her wedding. It involved something to do with Charlotte's dress. Um, what actually happened was Meghan cried over something Kate was upset about. And this is the first time we're really getting the details on this, thanks to this Oprah interview. The reason that the palace refused to correct this storyline is fascinating. The palace has a history of swapping stories. So if uh, I am a, a, a reporter and I come to the palace and I say, I've got this like pretty scandalous um, headline about William, the palace would swap out that story for a, a story about Harry. They'd say, I'm gonna give you this story about Harry if you'll kill this William story. So this has been going on literally for 20 years or so. Harry has been a victim of this forever. Uh, so this is not something that should surprise Harry as much as it would surprise Meghan, who's never had to deal with this kind of public uh, PR chaos in her life.